Hey Magical Fam, this is Future Sarah coming to let you know that there is a very big special announcement at the end of this video. What else has been going on behind the scenes and what else have I been keeping a secret? Good morning. Welcome to Days in the Life of Mansfield. It's been months since I have been able to have my regular yoga practice. Last July, I tore the lateral meniscus in my right knee. It's still healing, but I have finally been able to get back into a yoga routine. I can finally feel my body regaining its strength and that feels so good. This past year, I really tried to figure out some morning rituals that would help me feel happy and ready for my day. So I always start with a hot drink, watering the plants that I haven't killed yet, I'm too young to die. and lighting candles to create a cozy, comforting, and relaxing space to create in. It's a new week and I am so ready to start this new year as the retrograde is coming to an end. And at the beginning of each new week, I like to pull cards to see what the universe is wanting to speak to me. I know I've showed you some card pulls that I've done before, but I've never really walked you through how I like to do it. So I like to shuffle each deck three times because three is my favorite number and I just feel really connected to it. So that makes sense for me. The first card I pulled was an upside down six of swords. Funny thing is, I haven't pulled any upside down cards until just recently, but what I've taken it to believe for myself is that an upside down card is speaking to me that I need to spend a little more time focusing on that upside down card. Sometimes I feel the need to pull more than one card, so I just follow my intuition and choose the ones that are calling out to me. And you can see here, I pulled another upside down card. So I not only need to forgive and let go with loving ease, but I really need to focus on loving myself completely and unconditionally. And something I've noticed when I'm laying my cards out is they almost always split in one spot. And so I usually pick the card of where it splits. The hedgehog represents vulnerability, no longer hiding the heart and tenderness. This was my first deck given to me by my friend Chaco. Thanks Chaco. And they're unique because they have three parts to each card. The first part references life. So for my life, the story only seems one-sided. And the next part is for work. There's no such thing as a happy ending. The third part is inspiration. So I need to find my future in the past. It's really important to tap into what feels important to you, what is already speaking to you, and that helps you figure out what process is best. Thanks for looking at my cards with me. That was actually really fun to show you guys. Hi friends, hi humans, magical you. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? what I'm trying to figure out. So it's interesting. I am feeling the retrograde coming to a close. Feeling this energy coming back. Feeling optimistic. 
about all of the creative projects that I'm working on and all of the steps that I'm taking forward. And I'm feeling like I am out of practice, feeling like my confidence is low. I am just so overaware <laughs> of the fact that I mask a lot. New information from learning I'm autistic. And it's just so hard because I'm already in my head enough as it is. But then to know that I'm masking, then I try to catch myself. <laughs> and it makes you feel confused on who you are. Because sometimes... I'm playing with my nose ring. I'm not picking my nose, don't worry. <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually, that's actually a an autistic thing. Stimming? Stimming? Is that how you say it? You, you fidget and like, or you, you do things um, that make you feel comfortable or calm and <clears throat> playing with my nose ring is actually one of them. I do that quite often and I'm sure everyone thinks I'm picking my nose. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Um, cause I'm trying to think of how I originally and am wanting to now show up in this space of YouTube. I also want to make sure that I don't talk forever. <laughs> There's like a million and one things that's going through my head as I'm moving into this next season of creating and being more of myself and bringing you guys along in the process of finding my creative voice, finding my voice, period. Because who am I? I grew up in church and they told me who to be and society told me who to be. No one said, hey, it's okay to be yourself. I never knew who I was. So I'm learning a lot about who I really am and what I have to say. Maybe you can relate to this. It's hard to figure out who you are when everyone else has told you who you are. It's our turn to decide, so watch out world. <laughs> so I'm just kind of, I'm, I've gotta let myself play. I've gotta let myself just do it and figure it out and learn along the way. But at the same time, I just really wanna be honest about where I am in the process because I don't want it to seem like it's been this super easy road because it never is. Here I am struggling to figure out how to bring myself fully to my creative endeavors and bring myself fully here for you guys. Hopefully encourage you to find your voice and be more of who you are. Here I am. This is me. I'm not perfect. I'm figuring it out. It's almost a year after I've started this little chapter of the journey. Day one, the first day where it all begins. Where I'm really diving in, trying YouTube again, everything, all of it. It's a lot, it's a lot to figure out, but I'm here and I'm giving myself room to breathe and grow and make mistakes and be imperfect, show up authentically, whoever I am in that moment. That's the update for this moment. We'll see what happens in the next moment. <laughs> Writing and journaling is also a regular practice now for me. It helps with my mental health. It keeps track of how I'm growing so I can look back on it later and see what I've learned. And it's also a place to put all my creative ideas down so I don't forget them. We now know whose voices have been silenced or have gone unseen. Quarterly planning is a very new practice to me that I'm finding so helpful for my easily distracted ADD brain. It's helping me focus so I can accomplish more of my creative goals and I'm less stressed because I already have a plan of when and how I'm going to accomplish those goals so I can just take it one step at a time. 
All right, here it is. The other very big secret that I have been keeping from you this past year. <sighs> Are you ready to hear it? Another secret I've been keeping this past year is that it's my turn. I am going to be starting my own art business with my art, selling my pieces. It's fun, it's lighthearted, it's silly, it just feels so me, a part of myself that I don't really let out very often. I like to be loud sometimes. I like to be vibrant and colorful. Sometimes I really like to turn up the volume. I love to dress up and I love to add color and sparkle. So this art business is going to reflect that side of me. I am so excited. I've been working on this for a long time. I didn't know if this is something I could ever do or would ever do. I've been watching other artists on YouTube for so many years. I probably started watching back in 2016, seven years ago. For all that time, I've just been watching, soaking up all this information like a sponge and watching all of these artists that have inspired me so much, show me how it's possible to start my own art business and run it from home, grow it into something that I'm really passionate about and something that makes a difference. Here I am on YouTube telling you guys to go after your dreams and now finally I get to do the same thing. I get to start my very own thing. I know I'm just at the beginning of finding my voice, but I feel like I've been able to create some things that really feel like me and are just really fun. I'm tired of making excuses and not trying. This adventure has been all about trying to push myself out there and do the things that I didn't think I could do. I'm not in a place where I feel like I've found my voice. I know what I'm doing, no. I still don't know what I'm doing. I don't know my full voice, but I'm seeing it come through the cracks, seeing it blossom. I'm just gonna take that and take what I have now in its baby stage and just set it free and let it out and see what happens. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. I don't care if everyone likes it. <laughs> Because I like it, I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun making it. I of course do hope that you like it and you enjoy it and it makes you smile and it makes you dream and it inspires you to create your own magic. That's what it's all about. It is going to be launching in just a couple months. What? I'm going to be opening online. I cannot believe I'm saying this out loud. I cannot believe I'm sharing this with you. I can't believe I'm here in this moment because even just a year ago, it was like, well, can I actually do this? I don't know. Here we go. The next adventure is upon us. That's my update. Thank you so, so much for encouraging me and being here and sharing your magic with me and letting me share my magic with you. I cannot express to you how much this means to me, that you are here, that I can be here, and that you're listening to what I have to say. What? If you want to support me and you are inspired by what I'm doing here, if you believe in what I'm doing 
here in this space. You supporting me and liking my videos or commenting or sharing or subscribing actually does help tremendously. I don't want to ask you to do these weird things, but the more you support in that way, the more this video gets to be seen by other people. And I know that there are so many people out there that need to see this type of content, need to see this random girl who doesn't know what she's doing. People need to know that this is possible. And so please just support me in any way that you can. I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.